Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all having a good day today. Hi. Also, yeah, Barry, um, if you want to dip out, that's fine. That's completely understandable. Uh, I know you personally don't generally care about raid content, which is probably, that's why I decided to do that first. That, and I need to make sure I have it done by next week when Savage comes out. Um, but yeah, I, I do need to catch up on the story too for the new trial, but I am not as far behind as you, but I am still like a patch or two behind. But yeah, I, uh, I figured I would just stream this today since I need to get ready to start raiding anyways, and I'll probably be doing late night raid streams on Wednesdays and Thursdays again for a little while. At least until we clear. Once we clear, I probably won't do that anymore. But yeah, I hope everyone is having a good day. Everyone. Shouldn't have any issues getting this going, yeah. <laughs> Very little issues with getting this game going. I still need to do the Island Sanctuary at some point. I keep forgetting. I haven't touched it, like, at all. I haven't even finished the quest for it. I really need to go do that at some point. Uh, where would Raid be right that's probably gonna be here no here yeah that's probably gonna be here in the other place hmm. elpis that's, yeah that's the place how do i open the menu map again Right, no, it's not in Elpis, it's in Labyrinthos. That's where the quest is. I come here to unlock it, but I still need to go there to get the quest. Yeah, it's right there. Eater of Souls? The feeling you would arrive soon, urgent tidings always seem to carry you in their wake. Master Fortunal recently sent word regarding his investigation. Information regarding Professor Claudine's whereabouts and sudden disappearance of Pandemonium in the Imperial Sea. Oh, sudden appearance, not disappearance. Uh, I ask that you proceed to the Iatoscope. Oh, right. This is probably going to be in the other place, not in Elpis this time around. Because the Pandemonium Prison is actually in our world now. Wait. It's not... Oh, this is where I need to be. Over there. Okay. I'm in the wrong tunnel. I need to go around. I am excited to hear the new music. Because Last Raid's music was really good. Oh yeah, I can see it back there.
I'm assuming the final boss is going to be Athena. Like, that's what I've been assuming since the beginning. <clears throat> Thank you for answering my summons. Oh. Whereabouts of Professor Claudine who have not been seen since his ill-advised journey into Azislav? I should, uh... Turn off auto advancing text because I can't read that fast. Uh, discovered an airship in the vicinity of the facility. Still not found. There were signs that someone, perhaps the man himself, had forced their way into the facility. Now let me know where. It was almost as if the entire sector of this facility had been wrested from existence. Further investigation confirms the expedition's party suspicion nigh on the entire sector of Azizla has been teleported elsewhere. Oh, okay. I believe that its destination is with none other than the Ethereal Sea, here where its elegant facilities reconstituted as the Halls of Pandemonium. This Professor Claudine is in there. That is our leading theory. Yeah, that is just theory. Before we do, there's another pressing map. Anemonia may appear firmly sealed. An unknown entity was recently spied crawling forth from its gate. The hell is that? We observed this behavior with the ionoscope and to our horror witnessed it gorging upon the surrounding ether like a ravenous beast. Real sea harbors the souls of the departed. Tis the wellspring from the oh, okay. Yeah. Precisely, its safety must be our first move. Rid us of this menace, then we will be able but we'll be at liberty to investigate what wicked machinations are afoot. Memory this memory crystal was recovered from Claudine's ship. Take it with you. Okay. Without Themis, there will be no army of phantom warriors. I realize you are more than capable in combat, but are you alright? Um, Themis isn't the only one who could summon our illusionary allies. Uh, I should know you have some talents, but master even the ancients of. I like that they're leaning more into that. Once we are freed from the Looming Spectre, you must promise to share your knowledge. Gather researchers, rest. So it looks like the raid is going to be here this time and not in Elpis. Interesting. Anabasios. No, more than 30 minute wait time. <laughs> I really hope it's not a 30 minute wait time. Oh, less than five minutes. There we go. That was weird. I was going to say, this is new. There should be tons of people queuing up for this right now. Though there isn't a single person actually in here, unless this is a solo. This might be a solo instance. Like you can only only I can see myself here, no one else. Creepy music. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get into a queue. I would like to not sit here for too long. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the big one. 
I figured even as a DPS it shouldn't take too long, seeing as how it's new. Alright, let's see what the first one is. The last two have been very dark. From what I've seen previews, this, this raid is very white. Very bright. Yeah, very, very bright and like... What is this music? This is interesting music. This, this is interesting music. Octotos. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I assume it's something to do with mythology, because most of the ones in Pandemonium have been mythology. Oh, this is a really pretty arena. how it's voice changed. Dual um. spell. Ah, is he doing both of them? Yeah, so we have to start him out. This thing is creepy. Red just souls from its belly. Ooh. Is it switching again? Is it switching to something else? Switch to red. Martialist Lament. That's a knockback. Oh, snake. Split AoEs. That's not too big. Probably don't want to get hit by that twice. I don't like how its voice changes. Rear combination? Uh, I'm gonna stand in front of them then. Yep. Called that. <laughs> Uh, 
looks like he's switching again. Graviting is he's switching to green, so it's probably gonna be ranged. Or healer, it could be healer. Oh, hi Charvidus. Beast's Laments. Oh, buddy. Um... Interesting. bad for me. Oh. And Ecliptic Meteor? Uh, excuse me? I- oh, only- oh, I see. Only one was able to sustain it. I got it. That was my bad. Nope. Oh, back to Mage. Mage was pretty easy. Ice Flame Summoning, that's different. Oh. So I got fire, I need, I wanna be in the opposite, I'm assuming? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. It grows. So now it's gonna be the ice that grows. Oh, that's not good. I like this music, it's interesting. That wasn't too bad. I died because I met I didn't notice that the uh the rocks had taken damage. Now it's purple. That wasn't too hard. I mean I guess it is the first one. So Oh, what's going on here? What? Oh, I know what's going on. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go for. Oh, I rolled a 98. 
most likely going to get that. Yeah, I think it's the little thing I, I'm going to have to start turning that off before I start playing 14. Then. Impressive work. Memories of your capacity were not embellished. Oh, that's Athena. A proper introduction to Pretty sure that's a thing now. Yep. Chief keyword of pandemonium. Wife to La Habrea and mother to Eric Tonya. In a manner of speaking, I am the source of all your recent troubles. Yeah, I know. I must say, I did not imagine I would meet you in this age. A slight miscalculation. Unfortunately. I understand you have reason to be worried, but I assure you there is no. I know what Lahabria, I know not what Lahabria has told you of me, but all that I have done, I have done out of sincere scientific. Her appetite yet remains, even after my rebirth. Conflict in is the furthest thing from my mind. Huh. Um. Do you have no intention of halting your reason? I have not endured this long journey to let my dream of godhood go unrealized. The souls of the ethereal sea and the man you call Claudine are indispensable. Hey, what do you need them for, though? Worry not, for I treat all my tools with care. Yeah, it's just a tool. Sure. It's not a person's life or anything. You are as stubborn as Lahabrea, I see. Perhaps you would be better served by a different... You already possess the tools I require to make one for you. That crystal teems with memory. Memories of two souls you know quite well. La Habrea and Eric. Oh, don't tell me I have to fight La Habrea and Eric Tonios. Assist them into the fabric of two errant souls that will, with their help, you make. Where are we? Really, these two have much to tell you of me, but how do you listen? Perhaps then you should understand. There is another, but their soul has proven difficult to work with. However, with these memories, I very well managed to weave. I have a place in my plans. I do hope that in time you come to realize that cooperation is the best path forward. Not really. I have little understanding of where we are, yet somehow I am unsurprised to find you here. At present, I have more questions than answers. Perhaps you can help me address this. Okay, so they're in present time now. That's gonna be weird. Especially if they can come out of the IATA scope. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been, but it's good to see you. Uh, where are we, and what events have led to the sun? I remember you telling us about this memory. I think that it contained our memory. A lot to take in. 
searched for you for a time but could find no trace. Now I Our age had its share of surprises, if my memories are to be believed, the supposed world-ending final days came up. Yet here we are, in the future, where you at least exist. Do we overcome the despair that befalls us? Questions without simple answers, it seems. Let us take heart that life endured in some form, as but memory, may have its own. Now that it has come to pass, this future must be protected from schemes. This... La Habrea from the past is a much different person than La Habrea from our time. But as memory is given fleeting form, we are bereft of any physical or magical talent. Athena meant us to speak, and nothing more. But though we may be tools, we need not be slaves to her whim. Must wonder how she knew of our history. Likely she possessed some means by which to observe the events within. You mean the giant eyeball in the final boss fight of the last raid? Uh, we would do well to learn more of Pandemonium, now dominating the landscape of Seoul. Why do your companions hesitate to approach? Yeah, though, to be fair, they would be terrified of you, La Habrea. Seeing as how you are the, ca the cause of a lot of issues in the world. <laughs> well, you may be a confluence of memory. It's an honor to meet the personages I have only read about in Morgan Tur I know what you mean. I can scarcely stop shaking. <laughs> We're powerless to do aught but speak. I see no reason why you should be afraid. It isn't my life I fear for. I f only fear that I might not have the chance to ask you all the questions now burning a hole in my mind. But what purpose does fear serve if not to be confronted in hope? I mean, fair, I guess? Information shall be a most precious resource, for that is the only weapon we can wield in these Start with Athena, whose thirst for discovery would see all life consumed. Desires haven't changed, still she seeks to transcend her mortal existence. Nebulous concept, but Athena had her own ideas on what divinity entailed. Thus she chose the Underworld, or the Ethereal Sea as it is known in this age. It means stemming the flow of life itself, she intends to continue her work. Yeah, that's kind of bad. I had a glimpse of Athena as we came into this world. Her smile, her voice, or just as I remember. Without even realizing it, I find myself feeling an affection. I mean, he was your mother. Of course you're going to feel affection for her. That's just natural. Don't look at me like I've gone mad. I'm not asking you to join her side. I know the true Eric Tonios would never want that, but these emotions are memory. We'll remain here to compile the information. Uh, I would ask you to leave your memory crystal. All that's left is to cross the menacing threshold.
I have one question for you. Where are a site mean? Oh yes, there are a few records that it only makes appearances in the legends of Ibelis and the tales concerning the Ashian Baha Bahavreya. <laughs> well, in tales concerning an entity known as an Ashian, this personage is associated with black orosite known as the Heart of Savak. So time has not varied. Heart of Savik. Basically, I believe what they use to power the weapons in uh, the Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald we Diamond weapons in the last expansion. I'll say Panem looks no different than it does in the past. No guarantee that the inside will be familiar. Once it has been cleared, Lahavre and I can approach. Portal should convey you to Pandemonium's gate. Woo! The Demon's Nest. It's the area that I was teleported to. I knew you would come. That, um... Yep, yeah, famous. Or, uh... Ah, I forgot his Ashian name. Guy who becomes the Warrior of Light. I never lost faith that we would meet again. I told you as much. I understand you may be confused. I was too at first. I am not the true theme. Made by Athena, molded from one of the many souls that heard spoke. I am only an illusion built from it. More real than Lahaprea and Eric. Eric. I should just call him Eric. Even so, I believe I have a grasp on the future. Future where Athena lives once more, although the means of rebirth are yet beyond me. I mean, yeah, basically that's right. <laughs> Very good. I would be disappointed if you did not rise to her challenge. I'm sorry to say that I cannot aid you. My creator has tampered with my existence. I am oddly inclined to act in her interests. I can do not but offer you words of warning. We will fight, and I it cannot be avoided. There is no need for the pained expression. Remember, I am nothing but an illusion. Nothing worth fighting to your team there. Uh, I would feel terrible if I had to trounce Elidibus again. Elidibus, that's his name. I know not what is... In Lines, but I must stress once again that I cannot defy the urge to stand against it. Athena's hold over me. Still, I would ask that you listen carefully. Athena has prepared a new vessel to replace Eric so that she may become a god. Gathering the souls readily available in the of Aether, she Yet the souls are faint, diffuse doubts whether they are sufficient for her goals, so she has turned her gaze to you. Despite your thin aether, you managed to lay low Hephaestus, managed to lay Hephaestus low, and if you know your secret. To that end, she has prepared an experiment for her observation. Fight for your life against Athena's creation, and, do, and in doing so, give her the knowledge she deserves. Is that supposed to be Alexander? That's supposed to be a weird Alexander. It's disgusting. I hate it. I hate everything about it. That is a, a, a cloud of darkness from the void. What's happening. 
Athena has made her move. We must find a way to reach her. Or must. We can do little but hope for her success. Fleshy Alex? Yeah, it reminds me of an Alexander. Um, why is everything monotone? I mean, it's even got the wings. I think this is supposed to be, like, an Alexander-y type thing. Once a mass of lifeless stone, now imbued with a soul. It's imbued with the soul of Alexander. I guarantee it. Athena now has grown much since her death at Lahabrae's hands. Although the souls she creates are imperfect, they match with absolute abilities. I know you shall cut your way through this monster, as you so many others, then you shall come before me. Do not hesitate to do what you must, for that is the only way to stop me. I don't like fleshy Alexander. I really don't. I'm not looking forward to this one. This one looks disgusting. Oh. Oh, what? Is this the arena we have to fight it on? Oh, this is gonna be... This is a weird-looking arena. This is a weird-looking arena. The only other arena that I remember that's similar to this would be, um... Leviathan from the Eden Raid, where he splits the arena up. This is a weird-looking arena. Fucking Spider Alexander. I hate it. Like, this looks like it's it was made in... Uh, that... What's it called? Choo Choo Charles. That's what it reminds me of. Just with less teeth. This is... Oh, I can't wait to be done with this fight. I don't like this thing. At all. And then there's just orbs of black ooze around the place, too. And spikes. tired of looking at this thing. <laughs> Seriously. I, I really want to move on. Why does everything here undulate? I hate it. This is like a Nightmare Before Christmas thing. God, I don't like this. Very unsettling. How do I turn this off? Exit. Turn this off. There we go. So I downloaded a thing for my PlayStation 5 controller so I could use it on Xbox games like for Game Pass and Warframe and stuff. Because I've been having a lot of issues with my Xbox controller lately. And uh, I have to turn it off for 14 because it's... Um, it interferes because 14 already has PlayStation 5 controller support, so it really messes with it. <laughs> and I, all the buttons don't work properly. Or mostly just the mouse, the pad doesn't work for some reason. <clears throat> okay, oh, this is the actual arena. What the hell is this arena?
I hate this. Oh, we're literally fighting Pandemonium. This is Pandemonium. This music is weirdly good. I like this music. Oh, we're just immediately pulling. Okay. Silk spin. I am bound. Those are towers. Ah, one of them got off. What? What? And then Ultima! Alright. They were donut AoEs, so you can stand under them. Okay, so the lasers are donut AoEs. Enzymoniac Meltdown. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Oh, that's that's tank stack. That that's Ockmorn. Oh, what? Webs are given. Oh, yeah. Now we can go across. side. Oh no, my controller fucking turned off. decided to turn off as the AOE is going out. Oh! This is 
a weird fight. Well, I, I'm not a fucking range. I shouldn't be taking this one. That's the chains. Get out. I don't like this thing's voice. Harrowing hell. Um, this must just be a D healer check. Well, the healers failed that check. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day today. Thank you for stopping by. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's that AOE thing. Okay. I do like this music, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a healer check. Oh, <laughs> that charms you to get hit by it. right side is the one that's gonna get a bridge. He's gonna do the challenge, I think, in a second. Yeah. Yep.
healer check is coming up, I think. Yep. This is a knockback. Yep, very big knockback. Busters. Tanks, tanks, tanks. That's for tanks. Tanks, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, this is probably a wipe. Yeah, we don't have enough people. Oh, we didn't wipe though. Uh, looks like both sides are gonna get a web. Nope, just the right side. I'm so tired of looking at this guy. This one's pretty easy, now that I know how this one works. Oh, actually, it, it reversed it on me. Right side again. Well, there we go. We got it. One white. Oh, I'm tired of looking at this thing now. How goes? How goes the final fantasy? It's going well. Just trying out the new raid. Seeing what all what the new raid's about. Uh, it's been pretty interesting so far. I'm interested to see what the final fight is. Accessories, please. I would like accessories.
Hey, I got a ring. I usually like getting all my accessories upgraded in week one, just because it's the easiest thing to fill slots in. Technically, I should probably be getting my chest first, but I'll be getting uh, the tome chest, probably. What the hell is that? What am I looking at? Beautiful display as always. I stand enchanted by your grace and battle. Is that? Animalium's final gate has been cast wide. I shall await your arrival beyond. So the next fight's a little bit then, most likely. Apologies for not coming sooner. The space is enveloped by some fell energy. We cannot risk venturing through it before taking due precaution. Were my eyes mistaken? Was that famous? Yeah, that was, well, an illusion. Memory. I'd like to see the new weapons, raid weapons, though I don't think I'm gonna like them as much as the previous tier. Not to have anticipated. She bore witness to past events with Impanimonium. Athena would have found Elidibus impossible to overlook. Yeah. So she found his soul upon the tides of the Ethereal Sea and used his memories to craft a puppet. But is what Famous said true? She imbued Pandemonium itself with a soul? Yeah, I just fought it. Breathe life into that which she which should never live. Athena's research is fast approaching its culmination. Fortunately, with the information shared with us by your friends, we've made some strides toward figuring out how to stop her. Crystal called the Heart of Savik. Oh my god, we're really gonna go get the Heart of Savik? That's not a good thing. <laughs> Researchers related a quick but thorough history of events leading to the present. The sundering of the star, the emergence of the Asians, calamity. Tales that under cer other circumstances would be considered childish fantasies. Uh, does he know? Does his memory know about this? Yeah. The heart of Savik. To you, the ultimate weapon, the, ult the secret to the Ultima's weapon's might, not least the spell known as Ultima, and a source of enduring mystery. We are told that a general from the Garlean Empire was gifted this Arasite by an Asian, that the ultimate, ultimate weapon might be perfected. The heart of Savik is the thing that powered the Ultima weapons, so yeah. Yeah. The identity of this shadowy benefactor, however, remains a curious unknown. Uh, only to you. <laughs> Everyone else knows it was you. You seem to be a veritable trove of uncommon knowledge. Is there aught you are thing? Uh, can I tell him? Or will the game not let- No, I, my character doesn't want to say anything. Part of Sabbath itself is of a great moment. Is a creation of Athena is made during her. Oh, Athena made the heart of Savik. This predates even Pandemonium's construction. She brought before us a crystal she claimed to have danced upon. See, it's, it's power. We dubbed it Orosite, studying it with fervor. Did Athena encounter Ultima, the High Seraph, perchance? Yeah, Ultima. Final Fantasy Tactics! Uh, 
unexpectedly specific question. I gather that the heart of Sadik is not the only Orosite in this era. Regardless, I know not of this high seraph. Athena was never forthcoming as to how she found the crystal. Much later, we discovered the Orosite magnifies the desires of those who come in contact with it. I mean, I believe Ultima the High Seraph is an alien, technically, in this game. Not from this planet. Last, the realization came too late. By the time I moved to seal the Orosite and its insidious influence away, Athena's plot had already been What became of the heart? I took it from Athena's library after I ended its life. The density of the Aether within was unlike anything I had observed. I knew its capacity for destruction, but further analysis proved impossible. I elected to safeguard it myself. It is possible that Athena herself obscured the crystal's contents. If she included some mechanism by which to give these memories form, she did with her own. She would be reborn. Ironic that I should have protected those very memories, safeguarding the star. Fate is loath to see mistakes on them. Okay. Well, the problem is, what is the next fight's definitely going to be a lid of this. Series Judgment. <coughs> I've told you all I know of Athena and any secrets she kept hidden from the world. If she indeed stored her memories within the heart, we must ask ourselves how they were awakened. Probably during my fight with Ultima Weapon, yeah. In which you triumphed, but failed to recover the heart. Yet according to your colleagues, there was another on the battlefield. This selfsame Ashium was later struck down at the at a location known as the Aetherial Chemical Research I've heard that name, and recently, the site of Professor Claudine's disappearance. Tracing an Aetherial signature resembling that of the memory crystal in his possession. The signature may well have belonged to Heart of Savic. But what reason would he have to bring her back to life? More questions, not answers. Although Athena's essence is that of memory, her magics have not suffered for lack of physical body. The world is now, it should be it should not be possible, but she has found a suitable vessel. Elidibus is to be believed, she readies the vessel for godhood and is closely close to Beggar's belief, as you all know, you were the linchpin of her ambitions. Yours was the only form that could contain the immense power Athena required. And it has long since turned to dust. As pleasant as this discussion is, we require more information. You know who awaits you, Famous. I fear you won't find him cooperative as well. You know, we know not how the vast space beyond this gate may be, but somewhere within lurks Athena with a little bit of leash. This may be a simplistic theory, but hear me out. If Namus arose from his memories intact, he will be eager to see reason, only break the magics that bind him to reach his ally. When I had fallen under Hephaestus' influence, you didn't tr stop trying until I was freed, but I ask you to do the same for Namus. Though none of us are real in the conventional sense, I feel that must be done. Namus would never have wished to be your enemy. While Eric's perspective is a sentimental one, Elidibus may possess privileged knowledge. To question him unimpeded by magics would be ideal. Atticus broke free of her bonds in her final moments, suggesting that Athena's hold weakens under the weight of combat. She might use the same principle to unbackle Elidibus. Remember that our very nature is fragile. Even if he inhibits a vessel with which to meet you in combat, not certain it can't be. If left weakened for too long, his aether may dissipate back into the Imperial Sea. Hey, Azza, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day today. Thanks for stopping by. All right. 
Oh, what is Lydibus' fight gonna be, though? The 11th circle of Anabesios. Oh, jeez. Well, at least I'm getting free crit materia. I guess... Well, I'll just wait. I, I should go grab some accessories, but afterwards. I also want to grab the new scythe. The new tome scythe actually looks good. So I'm going to be grabbing that as soon as I can. Which hopefully will be soon. I think we have to beat that fight that I just did in order for me to get the uh, tome stone to, up to get a new weapon. Once again, very bright. Oh no. Please don't tell me this is the round table. Oh, new music. I suppose I have Athena to thank for this incarnation. I have long considered how I might stand against you. I admit. In transformation, I present to you my truth. I am Illidus. Oh, his actual Asium or his actual ancient form looks really cool. This is a remix of Seed of Sacrifice's song, I think. I think this is a remake of this of uh, Seed of Sacrifice's music. Oh, no, that's a different one. Okay. Elusive ruling. That's purple. Is that going to be the same one? Yeah, okay. So purple is get inside afterwards. Gold is keep going. This is just an AoE bleed, which is going to kill me because there's no, no one's healing. <laughs> Is anyone gonna raise me? Jesus. Will you be judged worthy to exist? These magics well, are not for you. That's a wipe. We have a summoner that's not raising at all. Yeah, healer's not doing too well. <laughs> also doesn't help that someone just pulled with an auto attack. Like that. 
Looks like it's someone. I don't know who, though. Stay in melee range. Light again. So I want to get it. Will you be judged worthy to exist? Assume it's balance thing. So yeah, need be in the opposite. Okay, so I was right. Why do I have hate? Still an AoE. God damn it. The tank keeps dying. Like, that's not a hard mechanic. Come on. You gonna do a thing? Yep. Is he gonna do a point blank AoE afterwards? Yep. That's fairly, and that's an obvious one. Oh, that's Offworn. Donut AOE right after, so I gotta get back in. Oh no, he did the uh point blank. Will you be judged worthy to exist? That tank buster.
I believe I can do max melee range for that. Messengers. Uh oh. Okay, he's doing the end, the other one's doing the out. So, oh, uh. So here is where we want to be. Yep. These magics are not for you. This one's going a lot better this time. <laughs> I am the emissary, and I shall never die. This is gonna be a weird fight on Savage, that's for sure. That's gonna be a weird one on Savage, though. I can already tell. Uh, more rings, please. I need rings. One more left. Last fight's definitely gonna be Athena, I'm fairly certain, unless they pull something at the last second. Fog has lifted. I knew that Athena's magics magnified the desires of their victim at the expense of aught else, and I never guessed what desire of mine she could have. Since the moment we met, I have made plain my interests in you. My desire to understand your nature, I suppose that curiosity extended to, to how each of us would fare in a match of strength. What is this? What is going on? Then I am no longer... not look so crestfallen, my friend. These few moments of clarity are more than I could have asked for. Um, we need you. Great. 
I guess I can technically give people eight too. Grasp the fraying strands of my being and tie them together with your. Nevertheless, I fear that I am on. I'm here on borrowed time. I only hope that I can see you through your last, last of our battles. Until then, I will. Square, when are you going to learn how to draw hands? <laughs> Not blocks. <laughs> Emilidibus, the emissary. As such, it falls upon me to judge Athena, who, who would disrupt our carefully maintained balance of her own design. Let us return to Eric and Lahabria. There is much I would share with them. Hey, miss, it's good to see you again. She would guide you to our side once again. I'm grateful she had the patience to tolerate my lapse in memory. Athena's hold upon me is broken, and I pledge every moment of my remaining time to see if she answers for her deeds. To that ends, I would have you share what you know of her plan. As I mentioned, Athena possesses a vessel that may serve in the creation of a god. Someone, it is someone Morgan knows well, a man named by Cla oh, Claudine. By a twist of fate, his body proved to be ideal for Athena's purpose. The creation of a person requires not just a body, soul, or memory, but rather all three. We are made from the memories of our ancient counterparts, etched upon the drifting souls that in given form to the infusion of Aether. Lack a physical body, yet you see and feel us all the same. Athena is different. She has carved her memories into Claudine's soul while it was still within his body, and thus made both her own. Even, but even she is prone to error. After the Sundering, beings became more fragile in both body and soul. And this difference presents, prevents Athena from re re realizing the full extent of her desires. So that's why she has turned her sights towards Morrigan. Her uncommon strength rivals even the mighty party. By scrutinizing her feats in battle, Athena aims to deduce the secret of her prowess and use to fortify her own vessel. Only then will the accumulation of her research. Can't we simply remove Athena's memories from Claudine's body? An arduous task, but not impossible. Athena can inscribe herself upon another's soul, but she cannot erase its will. If we awaken Claudine's spirit to the reality of his bondage, he may be compelled to wrest his body from Athena's clutches. We still don't know why she chose Claudine. It makes him more suitable than it. Probably it might be one of her echoes, or his echo. It might be Eric's echo. Although I've never spoken to Claudine, I did witness an incident that may prove re revelatory. When instructing the vessels to do her bidding, she called it by a familiar name, Erictonios. Yep. That's one of his sundered pieces. It is as I thought. Yep. I kind of figured that out, too. It's one of Erictonios's uh, sundered parts. A mother's touch. Oh, that arena. That's very purple. That's going to be interesting. They have just handed us the key to rescuing Claudine. 
must we do? First and foremost, we must confront Athena. Yet our opponent stands on the verge of godhood, as we are now... No choice but to place the burden of our fate and the fate of many more besides squarely upon your shoulders. I'm used to it at this point. <laughs> it's a burden I'm used to carrying. Yeah, exactly. Seems to be. I imagine so. Ever have we relied upon your skill at all. And we all appreciate your willingness to fling her at the unknown. However, we have yet to hear how this will liberate Claudine. Have a plan. Do not oh, do not trouble yourself over the deep. Same goes for you. You must focus the, the entirety of your attention on Athena. She will not be easily bested. Let us trust in La Habrea and prepare for the coming battle. Before we face Athena, we must now. He had never discovered the Aura Sight, had never fallen under its influence. Would she have lived a normal life? I've asked myself the same questions. Questions with no answers. Yeah, there's, there's no way of knowing how she would have been if she didn't find it. Let us put them out of our mind. There is something we must discuss. I, I would do so not as La Habrea, but as a father to his son. Yeah, so Claudine is definitely one of Eric's uh, underneath cards, I guess, if that's what you want to call them. Just like the main character is one of Asim's. Um, cards. Last one, the Tolt Circle. Gonna be interesting. I actually don't know what this fight's gonna entail. I'm happy we actually got to see Elidibus's, uh normal form. Because in the actual fight with him, he's the Warrior of Light, which is the first Final Fantasy. This is gonna be interesting. This looks like Kefka's battlegrounds. You have done well to reach the seat of godhood. Now, bear your souls to me. This is very reminiscent of Kefka. Another new song, it looks like. interesting one. Oh. That's- she looks cool. I like her design. I like this song, too. Nineties anime song, someone said in chat. <laughs> oh, another one, another group that just randomly pulls. On the soul. <clears throat> AoE? Yep. Usually the first thing cast is an AoE. Trinity of the soul. Oh, left side. Oh! She does switch. Paradigma? 
Oh, whoa, what's this? Um, uh, oh, it's the, oh. Okay, so two of them are line AoEs, two of them are attachments, which probably shoot line AoEs. Yep. Is it this one again? Yep. Okay, I, I figured that one out. On the soul, that's an AoE. But she's a moth. Yeah, she is a moth. That's a uh, flying AoE on the tank. Yep. Superior Chain Theory? What? Um, oh, whoa, what? Okay, this is gonna, that's, okay, those are, okay, donut AoE. This is gonna be a donut AoE. Yep, got it. There's gonna be two donut AoEs, so we want to get to this side. Oh, I see. They were... I see. This is an interesting song. Uh, unnatural Enchainments? Um. Oh! Well, we have debuffs, too. These are gonna be the line AOEs again. Oh, there is not a lot of room. I don't like this. It's all on that side, okay. I mean, that's easy. No, she's not gonna switch, I don't think. Okay, never mind, she does switch. The last one is always the opposite, then. No, it's not always the opposite. I didn't see the left, I didn't see her uh, left side glow. Ow. That hurt. Oh no, this is something different. Um, add phase, maybe? Um... Add phase. Jesus, I don't know what's going on. All of the ads are like super. Spread out right this second. Oh geez. Oh, that's... Okay. Theos Ultima. Super Chain Theory again. This one is not too hard. 
All right, it looks like... Oh, the donut's right there. It's on the other end. Okay. Holding off on Limit Break this time because... Oh! So she gonna do this side first, and then these two. And then she's gonna do this side, that side again. That is why I saved Lemon Break. <laughs> for the elf for the healers. No, it didn't matter in the end, because two people still ended up dying. Doing this again. And this. Oh. Oh, it's all orbed this time. I like how the arena gets so tiny. Parthenos. I'm so... Okay, we... Ow! Yep, I'm dead. Oh, that's a light. There's Pandemonium. The song. This is an interesting song for sure. Yeah, this is Pink, Pink Spence Spot, I think is what the song is called. This is his Hephaestus', uh, not Hephaestus, um, the first raid boss. This was it, that was his song. This is Scream, actually. Yeah, there's a couple of remixes in here. I can see that third one. So it's gonna be that side again. Yep. I didn't notice that each of the lines of her wings lit up.
this one is. Ah, it's a line anyway. Right. Oh, I hate- this is such an odd one. I don't like this mechanic. Oh, that's a- this is a weird combination. They turn into teeth, I just realized that. Left, then right, right again. After the first one, move, and then stand. Following me with that AOE. Oh, oh, that's that's her doing that. Okay. To remember that this goes away. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that that step was gonna go away for at first. I really like the visual effects. <laughs> circle going to the very end. Gonna do her, yeah, her line anyway. Stacking mechanic. I think that's the whole fight, basically. Now we're doing this with the chains. Okay, there's no... What is she doing? Oh, that. Okay, yeah, she's getting rid of platforms. Both healers are dead.
Wait, why do we not have a limit break? Um... Well, this is a wipe, most likely. I'm not gonna survive this. Um, I survived that part. Not gonna survive this part, though. People are, a lot of people are complaining about having lag and stuff. I wonder if the servers are okay, which is weird because I'm having no lag. And that, well, it seems like one of the healers is complaining about it a lot. It's, it's their ISP that's having issues. Yeah, I guess AT&T is having some issues. again. There's a couple of names that have P in the name. You cannot escape my Double switch again. Too late. Yep, it didn't break. Loud focus. Oh, that's the tank buster. <laughs> this is a very bright one.
I do like this song though. Same side. Two then switch. Again, we're too slow on that. Oh my god, so many AoEs! <laughs> I do like those- oh, that's like Ravana, kinda. save my stuff. Almost went in too early. This is a very big fight. <laughs> like, I want a limit break, but I'm worried the healers might need it. Lots of bright lights in this one. Oh, this is gonna be the flying AoEs with the chains. So yeah, there's no... It's all just big AoEs here. That's the four setups.
Oh my gosh. Okay, I see one donut. That's the line anyway. We're gonna have to get out of it and then get back in. Swap once. after this. Okay. That was pretty cool. I'm gonna kind of interested to see what the uh, savage phase is going to be. Wait. Was is that Was that supposed to happen? The sound just No, the sound just cut out. I heard that this was an issue. Yeah, the sound just cut out. Hmm. What's the minion? Oh, of course it's in a wind up Athena. Yeah, um <laughs> the sound completely cut out. I was told that this was an issue, but I hadn't experienced it yet. Uh I'm Fairly certain. Oh, some of these people I've actually gotten in groups with, like that person I've been in groups with today. Oh, I already got I got a piece already? Okay. Well cool, I got all of my accessory upgrades. Uh I hope the sound kicks back in. Nope. I'll, I'm glad there's no voice dialogue here, so. Sadly, we have no music. Must chores now? Alright, have a good one, Barry. Be safe. I have to deal with bugged cutscenes. <laughs> I am very interested to see what the Savage fight is going to be like. Countless years I've waited within that stifling crystal, and now when my dream is finally within reach, you stand in my way. Your dream is not but selfish ambition. Its fulfillment would be would benefit only you. Why, Athena? At the end of this road to godhood, what do you hope to find? It matters not. The fact that she worked against the interests of the star. Even so, I would hear her answer. Would know why my mother cast a sister. Dropped her mask. How unlike you, Eric. You were never so inquisitive before. Having struck upon a hypothesis, there is but one thing the wise woman desires. Um, irrefutable proof. She's got really creepy really quick. My theory was that any true god would see us all as we are, imperfect. She would hammer out our flaws and build something great. To prove this could not but benefit the star, I would give it to the perfect stewards that it might shine brighter than any. And you would destroy the lives already upon it. Yeah. 
In that, I am no different from our peers. Over the course of eons, how many creations have we wrought? Such creatures cannot be cannot but usher their inferior predecessors into a even without without our meddling, nature would take the self same course. If the destination is the same, is it somehow worse to arrive there by the guidance of a god? The Arasite made such thoughts irresistible, perhaps, but it cannot have created them from whole cloth. It's Athena. So this is Athena's. What right have you to pass judgment? You were but a vessel for my masterwork. Your purpose ends there. Only My only mistake was leaving you possessed of a soul. What are you saying? Poor Eric, always the last to arrive at the obvious conclusion. I gave birth to you for a single reason, so that you might serve as my tool, and like any tool, I crafted you to suit my needs. That you might accept my essence when the of course I almost I always I also made you more amendable to my demands and ensured that you would feel a cloying affection for your dear mother. However, it seems that my tinkering was insufficient. My very feelings were of your design. Created a boy unable to grasp even the simplest magic, ever hopelessly clinging to his mother's robes and to do otherwise. Yet here you are, standing in defiance of her design, who is more than what she made you. I still feel the sting of it, but pain is clarity. You ill deserve to wear the mantle of a god. Stubborn as you are witless, if the star will not be mine, then it serves no purpose. Hi, Ultima. Creepy face. She aims to obliterate the ethereal sea and stem the flow of life. People do no such thing. Before the battle, Lahabrea told me I was the key to finish. Although I am but an illusion, my soul has crossed eons to find its home in another, and whose body Athena has seen fit to purloin as her own. Much of what I once was now resides in him. Should my memory seize this chance to follow suit, it may resound, resound enough to wake his mind. But Athena inhabits him still. What will become of you? I don't know, but if I can rouse his soul, perhaps it will disrupt Athena's hold. It's the best chance we have. My whole life, others have looked down upon me, but I've never given up searching for a purpose. Now I found it. This decision is yours to make, and yours alone. Do as you will, son. You shall make me. Eric, do not dare. Stop? Okay, well, you know he's not going to stop at this point. Your words hold the sway over me no longer. My life is my own. And I have found my true family. Again, not having sound kind of ruins it. Yeah. 
the fact that the sound bugged out kind of ruins the cutscene. What's happening? Athena's magic should be impotent with no body to heal them. Precisely. Athena was the sole force holding the space around Pandemonium together, and now it crumbles. Although little would change it if we buried her, if we were buried here. We cannot let this be Morgan's final resting place. Oh, bye. Poof. Teleport magic. It's useful. <laughs> All my miscalculations to think that you would be my undo would even be capable of defying me. Is there more you would still ha would say to me? Or have you decided to return to your dear mother's bosom? Have you brought Claudine back to me? Apologies, but I am only the dregs of your own memory. Do not but watch as the evil you wrought collapses, burying you under. How disappointing. Truly useless to the class. Damn, I hate this bitch. And who made me that way? <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's a good one. Got her right at the end. <laughs> uh, I hate not having sounds. Still gotta finish these cutscenes, though. Probably stop after that. Because I gotta restart the game anyways. It's a whole thing. So I'll probably just stop here. Once this quest is done. No sound. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put this back on. Just so we have something in the background. I'm just gonna put this on for now. I'm tired of not hearing anything. <laughs> right. Although Eric was not but a collection of memories, I know his absence pain. But he acted with resolve, full aware of the potential uh, of the potential consequences. Let us look back on this moment, not with sorrow, but with courage. You both are heroes of the day. Athena's ambitions would have swallowed the whole would have swallowed the world had you not stemmed their advance. We shall stay here, both to look over Claudine and ensure that there are no further disturbances in the Ethereal Sea. You should rest, and I will to not take no for an answer. Still another quest. Guided by the past, La Habria watches over Claudine with Seems we can do not but wait. Perhaps we might discuss a matter which has been troubling. While your colleague MGG was has enlightened was enlightening us on historical events, she let slip name one of the Ashians, La Habrea. Although she knew of the figure only from her research, she was most insistent that there is no evidence connecting the Ashians. Yet I am aware that this La Habrea used the heart of Sabak to sow chaos throughout your world. I would be a fool to deny such strong connection. You are the only person, you are the only one present who has met the Asian in question, so I would ask you directly, are he and I one and the same? It's my fate to work in the shadows and bring about untold destruction. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's La Havre, yeah. If you say it is so, then there is no reason to disbelieve. These Asians, or Paragons, I'm told, 
ruthless in their schemes to rejoin the Sundered Worlds. I have heard but a small number of their deeds. I still find it difficult to comprehend the depths to which they would arrive. Same. Choose a path of evil, all for the sake of the star. I admit, it's a decision I would make under the right circumstances. Although the ages, the ages may take their toll, my devotion to my duty will. Paying no heed to what might be lost, I will treat the heart of Sabak as mere tool. Never caring to look beyond its surface, I will unleash forces that I fail to truly comprehend. Remain blissful, blissfully ignorant in my, of my hypocrisy. I'll... Oh, looks like he's late. Claudine has awakened. Yep. I have some faint memories of what transpired. You stood against Athena and won. And you were there too. Baha Brea, Eric's memories of you dwell within me still. Though through unyielding discipline you hope to forge a son equal to yourself, but crucible you placed him in left scars which were loath to. Yet you were never motivated by selfishness. All you did was in service of your duty. At least I. I will hear no more. Though you may possess Eric's memories, you are not him. In rebirth, you have become someone else entirely. You belong in this you belong to this area. As such, I am your enemy, and an enemy does not deserve sympathy. Of course, I would never condone the actions of the Ashians, but you are not him. You are La Habrea of the Convocation. You spared no effort in saving us from Athena's machinations. For that, you deserve the utmost praise. Am I personal? You insist on deceiving yourself, and so be it. My stance remains. The most difficult of your trials is behind you, but you may find that Pandemonium has yet to relinquish the last of its secrets. Among them is the identity of the Hephaestus Liberator, who set the very first wheels in motion. There is but one place to find these answers. Past. Oh, we finally get to figure out who started all this bullcrap? <laughs> I must insist that you keep silent about Athena's fate. While I doubt it would change the decision I make, you should not tender us information we could not uncover ourselves. Now that I have said my piece, I shall follow in my son's footsteps. These odious memories will fade to nothing, as was always their fate. Farewell. My time too draws near, but I believe I can stay long enough to see this matter through. You shall journey to the past to seek out the truth in Lahabrea's words, yes? While Themis himself may be there to see this encounter, I have the unique opportunity to hear your perspective on the matter. That is, of course, if you'll share it with me. 
I look forward to it. I shall take in the ethereal sea one final time as I await you. Okay. So now we gotta go back to Elpis. Stygian and yeah, we gotta go back to Elpis. I wonder what the mount's gonna be this time around. So I'm not really sure. I swear it better not be the fleshy Alex. I don't want the fleshy Alex in. Oh, there's actually people here now. Oh, hey, there's Hegemon. From the, uh, last raid tier. She was the parasite lady. There they are. Oh, we're here. Hi, Giant Eyeball. See you back there. Truth be told, I thought we would have little reason to ever visit. I thought you would have little reason to ever visit this place again. I was wrong. Um, I'm just looking for answers. How neatly you ob obfuscate your motion motivations. Do well done. He has gone through the trouble to visit us, so I hardly think pertness is in order. Braved pandemonium together, why not at least share with her our progress? I have relinquished control of pandemonium to La Habrea. I was never meant to hold on to it for long. Now that such authority resides in Earth. With La Habrea's help, we have poured through Athena's research into the Nithio. Thus, we were able to restore Hegemon's mind and body. Yeah, I saw her. Yet, there is still much work to be done. Damage to repair, keywords to replace, the tasks are to make. But although the path may be long, our progress is steady. I believe we can safely say that Pandemonium will soon function as. Before we reach that point, however, there are some matters which must be put to the One concerns Pandemonium itself, and another is a personal matter. While they are settled, I can It shall not take long. The lack of resolve caused me to delay, but I have chosen my course. These concerns must be weighty and deep, and to share your burdens with us? You would bear witness, then come. Your arrival at this very moment almost beggars belief, but I shall not ask you to simply ask that you do not interfere. Stay here, this will be over soon.
Why did you call me here, Master Lahabrea? There is still much to be done if the warders are to be free. You have served within Pandemonia since Athena's time, have you not? That makes you the most senior king now that Agvistus is gone. As such, you deserve to know a secret few others are privileged to hear. Well. Separating Hephaestus from myself required removing part of my soul. Necessary sacrifice, but one which came at no small cost to my natural talents. I am but a shadow of the man I was at the time of my, the time of my appointment as La Habrea. I could never hope to wield the same magics that Hephaestus used to bind the warders' minds, let alone break their shackles. That tone of defeat does not bereft your voice, Master La Habrea. Do not give in to despair. There is no despair, only truth. I do not confide in you to garner cheap sympathy. Hephaestus left behind fascinating research. His conclusion was that in order to transform a vessel into a Hemikbios, absolute control over their mind was essential. As you well know, the magics used to achieve such domination exploited strong emotions within the victim's hearts. In the case of Hesperos and Agnistus, their respect for me. Upon slipping his bonds, Hephaestus, Hephaestus took steps to throw Pandemonium into chaos. With their attention divided, Keyword and Warder alike were easy target. But there was an act that came before. Regardless of Hephaestus' prowess, he could not have won freedom on his own. For long days and nights, I pondered who might have released him. Only conclude that Athena's plans were set in motion long ago. She claimed the mind of one of her admirers. Hegemon, none would question your pride in your position, your devotion to But you do not believe I am the one fit to lead, lead it, do you? Your loyalty lies not with my vision, but Athena. Master La Habrea, whatever has spurred this sudden accusation, I assure you there is a proper explanation. What are you doing, La Habria? Not approach. As I have already stated, even should I detect Athena's tinkering, I am currently powerless to dispel it. So I have come to a decision, one which was made with the best interest of our star in mind. In order to build a better future, I require the strength I have lost. Must embrace these odious memories. Can I get the whole mask back? Mark well the sight, engrave it upon your very soul. Yep. You now bear witness to the true La Habrea. Okay, he just killed that woman. <laughs> Not imagine this was an easy choice, but it is done. Is she alive? She yes, and she will remember this lesson well. Athena's puppet no longer, I see. She may yet harbor ill will toward me, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. Our star requires a steady hand to guide it, and now mine is equal to the task. I can no longer allow pandemonium to hurt my focus. I would ask that you serve me anew. There is none other more suited to overseeing this prison. Another who will take such pride in their duty.
My loyalty to Athena led me to betray you once. Why would you allow me to... I require your talents as I require Hephaestus. Hephaestus no longer is of no consequence. Very well. In honor of our fallen colleagues, I shall restore this institution to... Ahabrea is himself once more. He wields his authority without hesitation. It's not twice once his judgment has sounded. Yet he is different from Athena. It's only of the betterment of the star. So long as duty guides his actions, he shall not, he shall not share her fate. And should his convictions ever waver, the emissary will set him back on the proper course. <laughs> This is the path he chooses to walk, and I will walk it with him. I'll allow our bond to pray no further. As his son, I will support him in his days ahead. I would not ask you to say the same. You and I stand on peaks separated by vast chasms. Our perspective shall never open. Never and never shall one give way to the other, for such is our nature. With that in mind, let us consider any debts between us to be void. Before you leave here, mark well these words. My resolve shall weather loss unfathomable. Yield before no obstacle. Walk your path with the same. I mean, to be fair, I've already kicked your ass a couple times. <laughs> oh, back to Claudine. finish up this quest and then we'll probably call it a night. And like I said, I think starting next week we'll be uh doing raid nights on Wednesdays and Thursdays. At least until we get um all the clears done. Once we clear 12, then I'll probably stop streaming raids until the next set in the next expansion. I mean, assuming... Oh, wait. I actually have to go in from the front. Oops. never did get the jellyfish mount. I have I'm very far behind on these tribe quests. <laughs> I just haven't really been playing much recently. All right, let's finish this up. Say. While you were away, Themis brought me up to speed on all that's happened. His story shone light upon any number of questions that were. I don't like that word, at my conscience. Namely, those concerning the ethereal signature. 
Doubtless at source was Athena, reaching out as far as she could from her prison, and grasping for someone to take Eric's place. I wanted to ask, when you first found the crystal, were you unable to hear the memories stored with them? Indeed. I was only after our research, it was only after our research was all underway that I could hearken to it. Contact with the crystal should have awakened the memories, but the passage of time likely changed Eric's soul in subtle ways. Perhaps ethereal resonance was a gradual process in his case. However, being attuned to Eric exposed you to Athena's voice as well. Doubtless, the choice to venture forth into Ozzy's law was not your own. His influence. I do recall being strangely fixated on acting alone. I never would have encouraged such recklessness as usual. Although the choice was not entirely my own, it's a little shame. Reflection is how we plant the seeds of growth, though we must not blame ourselves for events out of our control. That the voice in the crystal belonged to the person from which your soul originated, well, not even the most brilliant researcher could have come to that conclusion. No, probably not. Your reassurance means more than you know. One final matter. Concerns the very crystal whose discovery set this adventure in motion. Perhaps sparked by recent events, a new light began to shine from within its depths. From my experience, this may indicate that a new memory has floated into the universe. For some time, the question of why La Havrea and Eric would leave such a crystal behind in the first place has lingered in the back of my mind. With Eric's memories and such magical talent are at my disposal, I believe I can make this final memory manifest for us all to behold. I leave this memory for you, the future of our study. Final days have come, and the creation magics we relied, we so relied upon now hasten our downfall. But despair has not yet won out. Bahabria and the others of the Convocation are working to stem the chaos which threatens to engulf our study. Their paths require great sacrifice. Lydibus Themis has already offered his to give his life for our salvation. Yet there is another problem which we must be dealt with, pandemonium, wherein are confined our most vicious creations. Even should we survive the final days, it will take some time to restore order. Pandemonium's cells were breached and their prisoners set upon the star. Our hard-won peace would be obliterated in an instant. Someone must stay behind to ensure that it never happens. With Thamus and La Habrea otherwise indisposed, that responsibility falls to me. That is why I must defy the directive of the Convocation. Soul will not be offered to manifest the will of the star, but instead consigned to it. I know that in doing so, the final days may take me. I cannot live to see my duty held. That is why I have resolved to set this crystal adrift in the tides of the un- Gains memories of pandemonium from both my father and I. Shall bear this and shall bear this warning for the future, even if I cannot. I have imbued the crystal with magics that will attract it to my essence, even should I journey through the underworld and be born anew. Its message will reach me, and ammonium shall not be left on. If all else fails, then perhaps another woman, like my dear friend, will come along, one with an almost unnatural ability to pick up the scent of trouble. I wonder how she is now, the souls she has saved, how many beasts she has slain since that. Alongside my warning, this memory shall carry a wish. Morgan. Now, 
Now listen well. If anyone receives this message, you must come to Pandemonium. Please make haste. I repeat. Well, that dispels the last of my doubts. So, thank you for humoring me. How will we go? Survived? Oh, the heart of Sabic. That's not good. That thing's very bad. But we need to destroy that. The tie that bound Athena's memories to my body, no doubt. I regained my senses, I found it on my person. Now it appears your efforts have left it bereft of memories, no trace remains of Athena. However, its power as orosite yet remains, and it may prove a valuable trove of knowledge in the hands of a great researcher. I feel that fate has left it to me for a reason. Ah, no, throw it over the edge, right now. I'll take my leave, but on behalf of my colleagues, nay the entire star, I thank you for putting for I thank you both for putting an end to Athena's wicked. You should just throw it over the edge right now. So no one can ever use it again. It's gonna be just like the eyes of Nidhogg situation. Then Hephaestus' stories has been, her story has been laid bare. As has the nature the nature of our mysterious crystal, the questions which led us into pandemonium are answered, and soon order shall. Be. I too can fade away, unburdened by regret. I could not have reached this point without you, friend. So many re revelations, but there are more. I would dig a little deeper. Elidibus' soul was plucked from the ethereal sea. What it was wrought. Surely you have a passing interest in what I remember. I feel. Reserve what answers I can provide. While my memories of pandemonium are clear, all else is hazy. Perhaps Athena may be this way, or perhaps it is the result of who what I was before. Still, I can recall vague figures, scenes from my future, and your past. At the Crystal Tower's peak, we clash, and later, from that selfsame spire, I send you forth. Into our age, to Elphus. That is what happens. Why do I decide on such a course? Formless are these as these images are, I cannot say. However, I could hazard a guess. Somewhere within my fragmented memories, I catch a glimpse of our journey into Pandemonium. A glimpse which shows not the path we took or the destination where it led us, yet by its very presence demands that you are required in Elf. Even if I act, even if that act is but one link in the chain of events which ends in Sirius's salvation. This, then this all has meaning. Our time together, every moment is worth it. And I am unburdened by regret. That's fair. Basically saying that Elidibus knew that he would be beaten. That said, it is possible that my motive possible my motivations become something else entirely. That you would cross this vast expanse in the hopes of being united with your allies. Devotion that once that once would have baffled me, but after having been to the depths of that twisted prison and back, I think I
Now, I have pulled back the curtain as far as I dare. People of your age call this the ethereal sea. I quite enjoy it. it teams of life, each star a soul on its, on its own journey. Among these uncountable stars, it was yours that crossed my path. For that, I shall be forever grateful. I wish you well on your journey. A journey as long as your a journey as long as your star is bright. A journey not bound by the confines of this world. Well, that was an interesting ending. It feels interesting to get some closure with Elidibus, even if it wasn't technically him, it was a memory. This is annoying because I don't have sound. How fascinating the truth that dwells at the edge of sleep. It's probably his voice. The course of history is set by its victors. It is immutable and... Should the star continue upon its path? Look. Oh, is it going to be look the old? Look the light. That was weird. Welcome back. I hope you said farewell to Themis for me. Recent events have given me not only a few focuses for my research, but also insight to my own origin. Truly, Bahabrea said, I am not Eric, yet I bear a part of him inside of me. And what I can to follow the traces he left. The spark has struck my mind. I am ready to pursue my research with fervor, the likes of which I have not known since my youth. Doubtless, I shall have need for uh, I shall have need of you in days and moons ahead. When the time comes, I only hope that you will once again lend me your sound counsel. That's it. Awesome jail, great job. <laughs> what is that achievement? Awesome jail, great job. Okay. Oh, that's a weird, um, a weird achievement. All right, let me go ahead and switch over. Um, it took me about three hours to finish that story. Well, that is that that is the end of the raid story. Um. If people want to watch more, I can do the actual story, maybe? We'll see. I usually tend to do the main scenario on my... Just because I know some people don't like spoiler stuff. But, like I said, starting... Because Savage isn't out yet. I think it comes out next week. So, next Wednesday and Thursday, I will most likely be streaming raiding later in the night. It'll be after my normal. So it'll probably be in about an hour and a half now when I would normally start. But yeah, I am going to go ahead and hop off here. This was interesting. Um, I always have trouble streaming 14. A lot of talking involved. Generally. <laughs> but yeah, I do hope everyone has a wonderful night. And I will see you all on Thursday for either Mass Effect or something else maybe we'll see most likely mass effect but yeah 
have a good night everyone and i will see you all next time bye